Alright guys, it's been a while, but um, I'm here to battle Jimmy31428, and this is his birthday, he's a good friend of mine, so I decided to give him a battle. I'm um, sorry about my voice, I kind of have a cold, so I'm my voice is um, kind of running dry, so hopefully I'll be able to get through this narration. Anyway, I lead with Espeon, and he leads with a uh, Luxray, and for some reason I completely forget about Crunch, I decided just to go for Psychic to do damage, but he just crunches and kills me, so that kind of sucks. So yeah, I go into Muck. And Muck is like Ale Hitler and stuff because he's a Nazi. Um, and it's going to intimidate my Muck with his stupid mobile thing. And I'm just going to curse. And by the way, this is a never used battle. And never used is fun because you never use the never used Pokemon or something. And um, yeah, he's just going to Super Fang me, which kind of sucks. And um, I'm just going to get off another curse. So now I have two. Although I only have plus one attack due to his stupid intimidate. So, anyway, I'm just going to go for Brick Break to do some damage to Mawile, but he ends up going into our Armaldo, which, um, doesn't take a lot from that, actually. So, I know this is a bulky Armaldo right now. Um, I'm not really sure what it's going to do, so I decided to go for a Curse again, but he also curses, so he is using a Cursing Armaldo against my Cursing Muck. So, I have, like, plus three defense at this point, so I'm not really afraid. Um, I'm just going to go for the Poison Jab to see how much it does and maybe get the poison off on it. You never know. He's going to go for the Earthquake. Um, I am weak to that, but with plus three defense, it doesn't really do much. And I'm just going to go for the Poison Jab, and that doesn't do much either, um, due to the resistance that I forgot about. But yeah, at this point I'm like, okay, screw this, my muck is about to die, I'm just going to explode and hopefully take this thing out with me. I know that it resists explosion, but I also know explosion's ridiculously powerful, um, and has, you know, opponent defense, and, you know, I have plus two attack, or something, and yeah, explosion takes down the Armado, which is pretty awesome, because, yeah, muck was totally going to lose that, um matchup. Thank you, Explosion. So, I go out into Pinsir. This is my Choice Scarf Pinsir. He goes out into Luxray, who intimidates me. Um, as Jimmy would say, intimidate. He likes saying that because he's like a British person or something. Freaking British people and their stupid tea. Do you, yeah, Jimmy did drink tea in this when I, we were doing this battle. What a jerk. Stupid British. Okay, anyway. So, um, yeah, I go out into Politoed because I'm kind of thinking it's going to use a special attack or Will-O-Wisp, one of those two things, and I know Politoed doesn't get hurt by either of those things. Um, yeah, so he goes out into Luxray, um, as I go Hypnosis, which is kind of cool. I do get something asleep, but I was kind of hoping it wasn't the Luxray, since the Luxray is pretty much one hit from dying anyway. Um, and I know, I th yeah, I think I, that Luxray scarfed. That's what I discovered, because Jimmy was surprised that my Espeon outsped it in the beginning. So, anyway. So, yeah, he goes out into Kabutops, and um, at this point I'm calling Jimmy a cheater, because Kabutops is UU, not NU. What a cheater. Well, I guess you can cheat on your birthday, Jimmy. That's fine with me. Actually, I don't really care, because it doesn't really matter. He just X scissors me for some damage, and that's actually a lot of damage, but still. Um, yeah, whatever. I mean... He, he didn't know it was UU, so I cut him a break there. So he goes out into Ninetales, and I actually stay in, because Polito does epic special defense. It just does not die to special attacks. He takes that energy ball like a champ, and then surfs back that thing. Unfortunately, that Ninetales is also special bulky, and survives my surf. That kind of sucks. But, um, yeah, at least I do some damage with Polito before it dies. And good job, Polito. You're so cute living that energy ball. Yes, you are. Anyway, so I go out of Pinsir, and I'm gonna go Earthquake, because it's really the best play I have right now. He goes out into Luxray for the Intimidate, and it's still gonna die to the Earthquake, so I don't really care. Um, and, yeah, Sparky the Luxray goes down. So now, what is he going to go into? I don't even remember. He goes out into, oh yes, this stupid, annoying Sabli. Um, I go on Entei. I'm not really sure why. I guess I was predicting the, yes, Will-O-Wisp, but instead he goes Calm Mind, and that's okay, because this is a weird Entei. Like, this is a really weird Entei. It's actually, like, specially made for a specific team, but I decided to use it anyway, because I just wanted to use it. Um, but it has Roar, so um, he tries to go for the second Calm Mind, but I'm not having any of that, because I just roared away. And he goes out into Ninetales after the the roar. Well, he gets roared into nine tails and goes for the um, flamethrower. That doesn't do much damage to me, and I miss that stone edge, and that was key. That's really gonna hurt me later. In fact, that might. I think that cost me the match. That miss um, stone edge right there. Oh well. So he goes out into Mawile for the intimidate, and I'm just gonna go for the fire fang because it's super effective. And I'm kind of curious to see how much it does after the intimidate, and it does like yeah half. Well, actually no. 
I, yeah, I used Fire Fang because I predicted the switch in a mobile. That's what it was. Um, and I'm just going to go for the Will-O-Wisp now because I want to get that thing uh, burned because it probably has some kind of special or physical move. And um, burn is like constant damage, and that's always nice. And he goes for the Toxic, which kind of hurts my Entei. Um, not too much, but still kind of blows. So yeah, I go on to Pinsir, and um, he's just going to Pain Split. It doesn't really hurt Pinsir that much, because Pinsir has really low HP stat. Um, and I'm just going to go for a... I don't even know. No, I switch into Entei, because I predicted to switch into... Um, yeah, this Sablai thing. And I don't even know why. Like, I, For some reason, I just like this Entei-Sablai matchup. Um, I'm going to see how much Fire Fang does first. I'm not intimidated, so... Um, but it still doesn't do a whole lot, because this Sablai is apparently physically bulky. Because it's a Calm Minder, duh, of course it's physically bulky, that just makes sense. Um, but, yeah, he's gonna Dark Pulse me, that doesn't do a whole lot either. And I'm thinking, okay, I just wanna get consistent damage on this stupid Sablai, so I'm gonna go for the will o -Wisp, but I miss. And that's the second miss that my Entei did that probably cost me the match, because that, that will o -Wisp might have been nice towards the end of the match. Um, so, Entei just had two epic fail misses that would have been really, really helpful to hit. Um, I would have been able to kill that Ninetales and burn that Sablai. Now, granted, you know, he is a special guy, but, I mean, I really needed that consistent damage on the Sablai because it was, it's just really bulky, and consistent damage on bulky things is always a good thing. So, yeah, he goes out into um, a while, and he's going to Sucker Punch me, but because of the burn, he's not quite going to kill me. So that's pretty awesome, and I get some Fire Fang damage before I die. So that's kind of nice, because that brings the Mawile down to a pretty low amount of health. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. Any switch, um, I'm going to go out into Executor, because this is my chance to set up with it, if anything. So um, I just need to set up. So I go into Executor, and I go for the Sunny Day, because this is Chlorophyll's uh, Executor, so my speed doubles. He's going to pain split, and um, yeah, he is going to get quite a bit of health from that, but there's not much I could do. I really need to set up the Sunny Day so I could be like faster than everything. And I'm just going to go for the Solar Beam now, because Solar Beam doesn't have a charge time in the sun, and that is a pretty awesome combo, I must say so myself. And, yeah, it doesn't actually quite die, unfortunately, and it gets off a Toxic, which um, kind of limits my Executor's, you know, run time, unfortunately, for me. So he's going to go out into Ninetales after this thing dies to the burn, and I'm thinking, okay, please kill Solar Beam. I don't really have any other attack move on this Executor except for Explosions. I didn't want to do that. And I do have the Sleep Powder, but I wanted to save it for Sabli. And if only this thing didn't exist, because it survives my Solar Beam... And um, if that thing just was dead due to Entei, I would have put that stupid Sabli to sleep and probably won the match. But now my last Pokemon is Pinsir. That Sabli is too strong to die um, to even two X Scissors. Um, I'm just going to finish off the Ninetales, and I really have to hope for a crit or a miss with uh, Will-O-Wisp or something. Because I know the Sabli is carrying Recover. I mean, what Sabli wouldn't. And he's going to be able to take that x or and burn me. And after the burn, I'm not going to be able to KO him. And it's just a matter of time before he decides he wants to kill me. So, um, it was a great match, Jimmy. Even though you cheated and, um, my Entei sucked balls and gave you the match virtually. But that's okay. I love you anyway. It was a fun match. Um, and I hope to do it again sometime, because, Jimmy, you are epic, and all of our matches turn out to be epic, because they always turn out to be, like, 1-0s or something. And, um, yeah, so he's going to recover again like a stupid little British person who was afraid of dying or something, probably sipping his tea, recovering, whatever. So, um, yeah, he's going to kill me now. So, uh, good game, Jimmy. I really enjoyed it, and I hope to um, battle you again sometime. Rate, comment, subscribe, people, and, uh, yeah, I will... S oh, yeah, I have that one hit point survive. It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and I will see you again next time. Um, yeah. Peace, dudes. Bye. So because it is Jimmy's birthday and I really have no other um, better question of the day I can think of, today's question of the day is, when is your birthday? Um, my birthday is July 22nd, um, if any of you guys care. Um, so anyway, uh, leave a comment about your when your birthday is, and uh, write, comment, subscribe, guys. Peace. Oh yeah, guys, one thing I did want to draw you guys to is to be the man's um, 
charity stream that's going to be happening uh, not this weekend, but the weekend after. I should be there, actually. I was just talking to Be The Man just this morning, and I'm going to try to be there streaming on Friday. Uh, but it's a great project, and um, I really think it's going to be awesome, so make sure... I'll leave the link to his uh, announcement video if you want information on that um, but it should be fun and I hope to see most of my subscribers there as well for the entire weekend perhaps and um, yeah that'll be cool so uh, yeah check that out alright peace guys